Hi, in this video we're going to write a program that allows us to draw some lines. So here's the demo program. Uh, this is what we're trying to make. As I click and drag I can draw a line. And we're going to go into our editor and try and write this up. So here we're going to need to make use of some mouse events. And specifically we want to respond when the user presses the mouse down and when the user drags the mouse. So we'll say mouse down method and then we'll say uh, we'll call it down and then mouse drag method uh, we'll say drag. So when the mouse goes down we'll call the down method and when the mouse gets dragged we call the drag function. So to do this to have some variable that lives between functions we'll need, we'll need one global variable. We're going to call that line and this variable line will exist between functions. And what we're going to do is every time the mouse goes down, we'll create a line and the endpoints of the line will just be right where the click is and then every time we drag we just change the endpoint. So we'll say function down uh, e is the parameter and we'll say line equals new line e dot get x e dot get y that's the start and then e dot get x e dot get y is also the endpoint. So we'll add this line and that's what we're going to do in the down function and in the drag function we won't do anything yet but if we run this nothing really seems to happen okay but now when we drag it let's say line dot set endpoint e dot get x e dot get y so whenever we're dragging it we're changing um, the endpoint of the current line. So I'll run this and there you go. We've actually already done it. Um, so let me stop this. I'll create a, I'll run it again. I'll create a simple tic-tac-toe board and we can play a, a little game of tic-tac-toe. So you know we have X here, maybe O goes here, maybe X goes here, Maybe O goes here because they're not very good. X goes here, takes the game, and X is the winner. I want to point, I want to call your attention to one very specific thing in this program that is crucial to making it work. So here I declare var line. That is declaring a variable. But here, when I say line equals new line, notice I don't use the var keyword. That would make it a local variable. And if I did this, uh-oh, cannot call method set endpoint of undefined. What that means is if I have a var here, this is a local variable. It only exists in the down function, and then when I want to call drag, I'm referring to this line, which hasn't even been set up yet. So it is crucial that we don't have the var keyword here. We say every time that the mouse goes down, we're creating a new line. So note here, the difference is this is a if we had var here, inside that function it would be local. But here it's a global variable and we need to make sure not to re-declare it.